welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video we're driving at Alsace Village, um, a track that I did not know until the day I've done this video. Um, I went on to the campaign mode and learnt the track driving the um, Renault RS01. Got myself a little bit used to the track. Um, different type of handling car to this though. Um, I seen that this was the car that was mainly used and I haven't driven this really. This was my first time driving this car and it's not a car that in general suits my style. It's very heavy, big. It reminds me of um, the Bentley GC3 off project cars and um, the way it handles. Very um, heavy feeling so um, it's enjoyable to drive and I think once I got get used to it more I really enjoy driving it. But um, just it just doesn't really suit my style of I prefer a car that's much lighter in weight and um feels a bit more like you can truck it round a bit more but um very enjoyable car still on this game. I feel like the physics were very quite good on this car for this for um, GT Sport. I feel like it it handled pretty close to how it should do. Um the track though, very very tricky track. There's some corners that are gonna take a lot more getting used to, but I'm gonna put out this guide to use for what I've learned so far. It was a second off the the top time so it's clearly I've got somewhere with the track within a, literally a few hours of learning the track so I was reasonably happy with that so as usual what I will do is I'll let you guys watch the lap in full speed pick up anything you can from it in full speed and then we'll break the video down and um, do it all in slow motion and point out a few breaking points etc that I was using and then um, some areas that I think I made a few errors on I'm gonna point that out especially that, that last sector there I think I lost a fair bit so Anyway, enjoy the video at full speed and I'll be back very soon to go through a full track guide. So I hope you enjoyed that um, run through of the lap. What we're going to do now is slow it down and go through some of the key points. So starting the lap, obviously trying to get them last few corners as clean as possible to give yourself maximum speed. Heading into the first braking zone where I brake just before that curb on the left there, just after the curb, sorry, down into second gear and try and get yourself nice and tight in on this apex. And you can see I'm slightly feathering the throttle there before I put maximum throttle down. If you look at the bar, you'll see it slowly build up there. And then accelerating hard now out of that corner, get yourself over to the right hand side of the track so we can attack this corner flat out no lifting needed through this corner you're going to see we're going to go flat out staying in fifth gear get yourself over to the left hand side and then we're going to look out for our braking zone is just as you get to the top of that peak then you can see the corner apex appear break down into third gear then to second gear and try and get nice and tight in on this apex and then get on the power once you feel the, the, the full grip there you can see I was half throttling and then full throttle once I felt the grip was there into third gear out of that corner and then get yourself over again to the right hand side of the track so, and then a brief little lift off the throttle there 
before you attack this corner so you can go flat out all the way through it that's what i find best just a little lift and then you can go flat out you probably can take that flat out without lifting if you get it perfect it's just something i've got to get used to doing then looking at our next braking zone just as you hit the curb on the left there break it down into third gear and then try and skim the apex of this curb and then use some of the um, curb on the left if you need to there just to give yourself maximum speed on the exit there and then attack this corner flat out get yourself over to the apex use that little dip to keep yourself to the right hand side then braking just at the top of the crest of the hill from fourth get into third get and try and keep it tight again you got to take a lot of speed off the car through that corner so you can get on the power nice and early as you can see there we're on the power nice and early then into fourth gear and then we're going to attack this very tricky corner this is a corner i think i lost a two, 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 two temps maybe on this corner as we attack it in fourth gear flat out I, you want to try and get it to bite into that apex a bit more you can see we ran a little bit wide there i tried a little lift of the throttle just briefly i think just to try and bite it back over but we didn't manage to get it to get over to apex as well as i would have liked um so we maybe lost a tenth maybe a tenth or so there and then breaking looking at our next breaking point as we attack this corner i like to break really early you can see there i'm already breaking before i get into that corner for this tight right hander i find that breaking nice and early gives you a much better exit speed from this corner you want to get out this corner as fast as you can so breaking early and giving yourself a nice line through that corner is really essential and then get yourself over to the right hand side of the track and then you can attack this in third gear just a tiny little lift off the throttle you can see there on the throttle chart and then back on the power maximum and then into fourth gear and then we're going to come into the really tricky part of the track which i think i lost a two two maybe two to three temps on as you can see we go down to third gear braking nice and early but i didn't brake early enough we i really wanted to take a bit more speed off so i didn't run as far to that left hand side so we could have attacked it from more of an angle from the right hand side you can see now i'm having to be patient on the throttle and only there i'm putting the maximum throttle on so i think possibly there is where we lost maybe a little bit of time on top of the other areas which would have probably put us into the one minute 50s but um reasonably happy you could see on the ghost at the end there where um the ghost actually caught me up quite a bit on that last little bit which we hadn't done really that well in the original attempt it's a corner that i really do need to learn i think i need to take a little bit less speed through that final section just to give myself a wider angle into that start straight you know obviously getting more speed onto the straight is going to help you out massively anyway i hope this little brief um track guide has helped you out it's my first time visiting this track on any game i don't know if it's a real track i'm presuming it's a made up one i really don't know um i've never heard of it so it's probably um don't take my word for it it could be based on a location or something i really really don't know um enjoyable track it reminded me kind of um, a feel of drive club the track to it um had that kind of feel to the, the layout of the way it, you know it flows with the fast corners and stuff so it's an enjoyable track i did enjoy it and um hopefully we can get our speed up for another video in the future anyway guys thanks for watching this video i'll leave you with the rest of this replay um from the tv cameras and we'll be back with more videos race videos track guys and like i say we'll be getting back onto them setups um very soon thanks again for watching